What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Grant. Today we're going to be doing a little review of my GCU apartment slash dorm home gym that uh, I just put together. So let's check it out. So from what you guys already saw from the intro, intro these are my Juju Mufu posters. I got these uh, for pretty cheap. They're like $15 a piece on sale. Um, and some of them are signed, some of them aren't. So says, don't forget to jump, Juju Mufu. Grant, stay tall and be strong by Juju Mufu. Um, nothing really special there, but you know, just a little bit of decoration to liven it up a little bit. So the first big piece of equipment that I got is my uh, my Schwinn uh, exercise bike. I actually got this for free on the side of the road. Uh, I found it on offer up first, uh, and it was listed for a while, but then eventually the lady she said that she put it out on the road for free. So. I went and picked it up with my girlfriend. Uh, it works good, I like it a lot. It's got a little cup holder, emergency brake. This is how you adjust the uh, difficulty. Tons of different ways to move the seat and stuff. I already got it set up exactly how I like it, so I won't mess with it too much. But it's nice because it rolls. It's got these little like skate uh, roller blade wheels, uh, easy to move. Um, and yeah, I like them a lot. All right, so this thing's sweet because I mean, one, it was free. Two, it's pretty simple piece of cardio equipment that can fit in my apartment. Um, I like it a lot. It doesn't make too much noise, um, but riding bikes is my favorite way to see cardio in. Uh, I used to love to ride a bike around town, but here in Phoenix, it's probably not so safe to do so, so I gotta do it from the apartment. Some days I do just a little 20 minutes after after my exercise just to get a little bit of sweat on. Uh, other times I'll sit, I'll move it so I can watch the TV um, and I'll do it for like an hour. Um, but yeah, it's good. It's easy. It's available. I mean, it was free, so it was the right price. The next big thing was this rubber flooring I got from Ross. Uh, ended up being 24 bucks for uh, for all 12 tiles. Um, it's pretty thick, I like it a lot, uh, it helps reduce the noise a little bit and just gives you a place to work out, you know, rather than a hardwood floor. Um, you know, and it's a good place to stretch, work out, do whatever, so yeah, I like it a lot. The other big purchase that I had are these uh, Sport 5.5 power blocks. Um, they go all the way down from 5 pounds to 55 pounds. Um, they're pretty easy to switch. Actually, all you do is you pull out this pin, you put wherever you want it, and that's the weight. It's nice because you don't have to have like a rack to hold these things, so you just pull it out. It's got just the one weight on there right now. Um, but it's cool because you do curls, and you can do whatever. Um, but otherwise, they're a pretty good investment. They're only 180 bucks, usually about. 450 new plus whatever you got paid for. Like I was saying, you do curls, they're pretty nice. You do hammer curls, you do shoulder press, you do shoulder raises, whatever. These are only 25 pounds right now, but they go up to 55, so get almost everything done. I actually hit a really good leg workout the other day with it, uh, doing squats, goblet squats, uh, Bulgarians. Uh, found a way to do calf raises with them, which is pretty good. I'll show you guys that later. But, um, but yeah, also when you do workout, you can do rows, whatever. You can do it all. So, yeah. I've still got some room to play around with. I've been thinking maybe I need like a lap pull down, some sort of uh, cable stack, freestanding cable stack to go right here. Of course, I'll need to buy weights for that, which is okay. I, I mean, who doesn't love to spend money on gym equipment? Um, I'm not sure what else. I mean, this wall's pretty blank too. It wouldn't be bad to put something there. Thing is, is I gotta worry about the door a little bit. Um, but yeah, I might change up the layout, but I'll keep you guys posted. While I was out and about, I also bought this kettlebell. It was only 20 bucks, so it's a uh, 16 kilogram or about 32 pound kettlebell. Um, I bought, just trying to buy one that was kind of in between a lot of weight, so I get a lot done with it. You know, if I wanted to, I can do shoulder presses. You could do uh, the swings. 
You can do whatever. You can do the one arm circus get ups. You know? Either old. And the same guy that I bought that kettlebell from for 20 bucks, I bought this bench. So uh, it's an Apollo bench. It's usually 120 bucks brand new. Um, but I only paid $10 for it. It's in pretty decent shape. There's a few little tears and stuff, but it's just a dorm apartment home gym. So, I mean, can't be asking for too much, right? And this is how, of course, you can bench, do flies, do the Bulgarians on it. But uh, it's nice because it's lightweight. It fits underneath my bed pretty well. Um, my bed's pretty tall, so sometimes it makes a good bench. Get up and get down. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this is probably my favorite purchase out of the bunch. I mean, the bike is pretty cool too, though, because I mean, it was free, so tough to beat that. The home gym is still growing. I'm just not sure what to get next. Make sure you comment down below uh, what my next purchase should be. Some other um, really non gym essential things that are important to note. Uh, I feel like your important note is I got my uh, Rick Boogs WWE uh, action figure. My girlfriend bought me that. There's also a fan that is nice because it's nice to stay cool while you work out or whatever. Turn it up. It's, it's at pretty much the exact perfect height for almost everything. And the other thing is also you know, my TV. You got some plans up there. But yeah. It's nice to be able to watch TV, work out right here, get inspired, press some freaking dumbbells, and they got all my other equipment. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you hit the like button below and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Um, I'll see you next time.